Today we are going on one of the most anticipated things that we planned for our trip in Alaska and we are going for dog sledding. This is something that I wanted to do, that he wanted to do for a long time and we can't wait for this to happen right now. We don't know what to expect but it told us to dress everything we have because it's gonna be cold. Let's go! Yeah, let's go! I don't know how these people live here because we've been driving for like 40 minutes outside of Fairbanks yeah. and there's pretty much nothing here I guess just like one or two cars that pass us, right? and yeah, I can't believe if it's like a winter storm probably dog sledding is something that they really need like a way of transportation <laughs> yes, here exactly. it's, 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 I mean, it's unbelievable yeah how okay, can you get out of here? Yeah. we're getting close <laughs> so just like in the middle of nowhere we don't have any network here but here you go we have some fun yeah it's real fun yeah but just you know you need to to somehow get to this phone uh, yeah. do you think it still works i think so yeah. the dog is looks so cute yeah I love the white ones. Which one? White ones. So cute, doggy. <laughs> There's an uprising to see. Okay. <laughs> There's a place. Sounds oh. exciting. Yeah. And the dogs will go back to each house as oh. their own. Uh, and so it's not random. It's based on personality and how they get along with the dogs around them. So this arrangement is pretty important. It keeps our dogs safe from each other and safe from like the group dynamic. We don't want fights is the big thing. Ivan's quite sweet. He likes so attention. <laughs> our dogs don't have traditional manners. So they like to jump, they get in your face, they want to say hello. You guys are welcome to walk around and pet them and give them some attention. Um, they like meeting new people. Uh, how are you? Oh. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get that cost like $5,000. $5,000 on dog? Yeah. Oh wow. All dogs have different names and the owner knows every dog. He changes them for every race for like group of different teams so yeah it's really cool and look here's a lot of dogs hi she doesn't like us oh he doesn't like us so this first sled is what i'm driving so i'm standing here controlling the dogs watching the team directing them with my voice one of you is going to ride as my passenger you get yourself in sit in this seat Pretty basic. The other person drives that backslide. Driving back here is more challenging. This is kind of like water skiing. Let me show you guys how. Two runners, you place your feet on the runners, hands on the handlebar. You want to bend your knees a little bit for the takeoff. So I'll turn around from my sled, give you a thumbs up, let you know that it's time to go. Be ready for that sled to jerk forward as the dogs start. Uh -huh. When it's time to stop, I'll hold up my fist. I'll say, hit the brake. That's this bar right here. When you stomp on that, all your weight. This is just a slowdown. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we use these magnetic tags to mix and match personalities, move the dogs around in the team. This is who we're gonna take out this afternoon. Fitzirk and his brother Bjorn are gonna be our lead dogs. Then Martin and Anderson in the position of swing. These dogs at the front are the most focused and the most driven. A lot of people think that your lead dogs are going to be aggressive, your dominant alpha. Those dogs actually run at the back of the team. That's where they're most comfortable. They kind of chase the whole team down the trail. So instead, your lead dogs forget about the group dynamic and they just focus forward on what's around the next corner. But they also have to listen to my voice. So G tells them to turn right, Haw tells them to turn left, straight ahead to go in the same direction. And it's those dogs that have the ability to turn the team is gonna wear their own harness just based on their body size. Their head is out at this end, tail underneath this rope, this webbing across their back. So their chest then fills in this area. 
Take me, take me for the ride! <laughs> Look, it's so exciting! <laughs> I like to stand over him with my legs together, my feet and my knees pinched so I can hold him in place, and then I can use my two hands for his harness. Here. So this will fit over him like so. I've got my two openings together, hand on either side, and I put this right over his nose and head. So that comes through, and then over this collar that he's wearing, so we tuck that in front of the harness. And a leg then goes through each side of this breastplate here against his chest. So to lift his right leg, I take my right hand, kind of push that leg up with my left hand, and pull the harness over. Same thing on this side, left hand, left leg, support the leg with my right hand, pull the harness over. Once those two legs are through, we can then let him just run around with his harness on, kind of does his thing. We we'll harness up some more of our dogs and then connect them all in together. So, Martin? Exactly, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Looking good. Martin. Oh, the guy's Martin. ready. <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> the dog is so excited the dogs arrive. Right here? That's right. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Nice. And then you can walk around him and in front. And he comes to this side. That's okay. That's fine. Awesome. Looks good. Perfect. And the goal with these two is that they are the anchor. They hold everyone out. So they should kind of stay leaning into their harness to kind of hold this line tight. There you go. And then we can walk in front of him. Martin? Martin, Martin? Perfect. Almost ready. Yeah, awesome <laughs> job. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to clean your boots maybe a little bit? How do you like it? Oh. It's awesome. <laughs> it's so quiet. Yeah. Which is the nice thing about using the slide. Is like... Ready to go? So it's so fun to ride the dogs. Guys, how are you? How are you good? Everyone is good? Good? Good, good boy. No crashes, good job. Yeah. <laughs> How did you like it? Cool. It's yeah. so good, yeah. I'm gonna walk up, we'll give the dogs a proper pet, let them know I did a good job. Hey guys, how's it going, guys? How's it going? <laughs> They're so excited. <laughs> Yeah, so the guys actually told us that they do participate in the Idita Road, which is like a big dog sled and race. This one is a professional sled, not for tourists. And that's pretty amazing because the, the race itself, it, it goes all the way from the anchorage to no, and in general it takes from 8 to 15 days of the ride. That's amazing. And these guys participate. They even have thermometer. <laughs> yeah, he loves from. Non stopping. And he's the only one who has this track. Yeah! We did it! It's so cool!
yeah, the docks are amazing, the experience is amazing, so that was so cool. Subscribe for more experience and see you next video from Alaska. Bye bye.